Hey boys and girls, today's book is Poultrygeist. Poultrygeist. Rudy and his best friend Ralph were two rowdy young roosters. They weren't loud on purpose, but there was so much to crow about. Each tried to be the first and loudest to crow at sunrise every morning. Then they had contests all day long to decide who was the strongest or the biggest or the loudest. Finally, at sundown, they wrestled each other for the highest roost in the barn. Most of the other farm animals didn't mind the racket. They were rather noisy themselves and barely noticed Rudy and Ralph. The only ones who complained were Sophie the pig and Clarissa the cow. I need peace and quiet to make milk, Maris Clarissa mood. But Clarissa, Rudy said, you give milk every day, no matter how loud we are. You're keeping me awake every night, Sophie grunted. I need my beauty sleep. Can't argue with that one, Ralph whispered to Rudy. It was two days before Halloween. Time to make costumes for the Halloween poultry parade. This caused even more than the usual commotion. I'm losing my patience with this uproar, Clarissa bellowed. Me too, snorted Sophie, and the two of them went off in a huff. What old grumps, Ralph said. They can't remember what it's like to have fun. I bet they were never young at all. Rudy felt sorry about bothering Clarissa and Sophie. He tried to be quiet the whole next day, but when the animals gathered in the barn that night to finish their Halloween costumes, he got caught up in the excitement and added his voice to the squawking. Look, Clarissa and Sophie are still not very happy about all that loudness. They're working on all their costumes, getting them ready for the parade. Suddenly, a huge figure rose up in the far corner of the barn, its head almost touching the highest roost. Rudy had never seen a creature so tall. The monster let out a moan as it lurched forward. The animals tumbled out of the barn in a flurry of feathers. They ran until they reached the top of the hill. Clarissa and Sophie were the slowest runners and last to arrive, both of them out of breath. What was that thing, Rudy asked. It was the ghost, the poultry geist, Clarissa gasped. The legend says the poultry geist has been sleeping for a hundred years, whispered Sophie. I'm afraid you woke it up with your noise. Nobody dared go back into the barn that night. When the sun rose the next morning, Rudy and Ralph each held each other's beaks closed to keep from crowing. It wasn't easy. Did you see that? Rudy asked when Ralph finally let go of his beak. The sun came up without us crowing it into the sky. Don't tell anybody, Ralph said. We'll be out of the job. Everybody stayed out of the barn all day. They even held the Halloween poultry parade outside, which was fun because the costumes looked scarier in the dark. But as the night went on, it got colder and colder. One by one, the shivering animals slipped back inside the haunted barn. Do you think the poultry guys will come out again tonight? Let's see. You know what poultry is? Poultry are chickens. Ralph and Rudy were the last ones left outside. My drumsticks have turned to popsicles, Rudy said, his beak chattering. Let's go in. Inside the barn, the only sound was snoring. There was no sign of the poultry geist. Let's pick up our roost. Only two, let's pick our roost, only two left. Roost, 
or where chickens roost at night or where they um, sleep at night. So see how they have different little spots? So Rudy and Ralph are going to find a spot to sleep. Ralph scanned the rafters looking for the poultry guys. You take the high roost. I'll use this low one next to the exit. I, I mean the door. He's looking for a way out and a quick way out just in case the poultry guys comes again. No, you should have the highest roofs, Ralph. After all, you're taller than me. I am not, Ralph yelled. Look, you're slouching, Rudy shouted. Ralph drooped his feathers. You should have the top roofs because you're much handsomer than me. No, I'm ugly, Rudy crowed. Look, get up on that top roof, Ralph hollered. No, you get up there, Rudy screeched. The two roosters rolled around the floor, feathers flying, when suddenly a shadow fell over them. A very tall shadow. Uh-oh. They were loud again. They woke up the poultry guys. Boo! howled the poultry guys. There was a great flapping and squawking as the animals fled to safety, but Ralph and Rudy were trapped in a corner. Yikes, this is it, buddy, Ralph cried. We're going to, we're going to that big roost in the sky. They're scared they might die. Look at those eyes, they're so scared. Look, there's the ghost. Don't give up, we can escape. Rudy grabbed his friend and tried to run around the poultry guys, but instead the two roosters smacked right into it, and it didn't feel all clammy and ghost-like. Instead, it felt like feed sacks, Rudy cried. The poultry guys does nothing but a bunch of feed sacks all sewn together. Can't be, but Ralph gave a tug on the sacks, and there stood Sophie and Clarissa. They were the ones that dressed up like the poultry guys. Did you guess it? Boo! Clarissa mooed. Her eyes closed. Enough with the ghost talk, Sophie said. We've been unmasked. Clarissa was mooing and had her eyes closed so she didn't know that they had found her. Awesome Halloween costume, Ralph said. You sure had us fooled. They weren't fooling, Rudy said. They wanted to scare us into being quiet. Bingo, Sophie said. What gave you the first clue? I didn't get it, Ralph said. I was trying hard to be quiet. Not hard enough, said Clarissa. Later, when the two roosters were alone, Ralph said, I wasn't really afraid of the poltergeist, you know. Are you kidding, Rudy squawked? You were so, so scared you almost choked on your gizzard. I did not, did to, did not, did to. Ahem, <clears throat> said Sophie. There's more than one way to quiet a pair of rowdy roosters. So she sat on them both, and then the two rowdy roosters remembered that lesson for a long time. Look how little they are. The roosters are little, and, and um, Sophie's a pretty big pig, so I guess they did remember that lesson. They didn't want her to sit on them anymore. So maybe they'll quiet down a little bit and give the cow and the pig a little rest. So that was Poultry Guys. I hope you enjoyed it.